Welcome to Inside Concept Pro. How to change the IP address of a camera to allow open advanced CCTV mode. As you may already know, the default mode is CCTV mode, also known as closed CCTV. It means your MVR handles IP addresses itself, so the camera picks up the next available address when directly connected to the system on a dedicated PoE port on the back. In order to set the system for advanced CCTV mode, it's required for the cameras on the network to be given a static IP address on the same IP range as the MVR. There are a couple of ways to tackle this. It may be easier to have the system first set as CCTV mode and the cameras given IP addresses via the MVR. If you have a laptop or PC connected to the network that the MVR is on or directly connected to the MVR's WAN port, you are set up to access the cameras directly as far as the network side of things is concerned. I mentioned before the default mode is CCTV mode or closed mode, therefore it won't be possible to connect to a camera directly without telling the NVR to allow this. To do this, go to Menu, System Setup, Camera Setup and select the Direct Configure tab. Select the camera you want to access from the drop down list, click Start and then OK. What happens now is the NVR will effectively give the camera you want to connect to its own IP address temporarily. Bear in mind that while you're doing this, the system will not be recording, but if it is part of the initial install, this won't have any major impact. As you can see, there's an IP address displayed. If the NVR is already set up on the internet, there'll be two IP addresses. One will be the local IP address of the NVR, and the other will be the remote IP address. We'll concentrate on the local IP address. At your laptop or PC, open up Internet Explorer, making sure this is not Edge, which is the Windows 10 version i.e. 11 is the preferred version and the one we'll be using. On the address bar at the top, clear any previously visited sites and type in the URL that the NVR gave you exactly. This will now access the camera and you'll be presented with the camera's login box. Depending on the camera, this may vary, so check your camera user guide, but the Concept Pro cameras will be admin for both the username and password. You'll be asked to change the password for the camera if it's one of the most recent versions, but ignore this for the moment. You are now in the camera menu and you'll be asked to allow the ActiveX plugin to see the image. Depending on the camera in question, you'll see various settings, one of which will be network. Change the settings so that DHCP is not selected and input the IP address you want the camera to be. You also set the gateway as the same IP address as the NVR's local IP address. Remember to save the settings and then close the browser. What you need to do is test the camera on its new IP address. To do this, you must ensure the PC is on the same IP range as the camera. Also, for the MVR to pick up the camera on advanced CCTV mode, it has to be on the same IP range again. It's important at this stage to give the camera a full three minutes in order for the changes in RAM to be uploaded to flash RAM, which the camera does on a three minute cycle. So once the three minutes has ended, you can connect your camera to the location where its PoE switch is Make sure the PoE switch is patched into the network and the MVR is on. Back at your MVR, you need to change the default CCTV mode to advanced CCTV mode. To do this, go to Menu, System Setup, Installation Mode, and change the mode to Open Mode, which is Advanced. The plan diagram will show you what this mode does. Click Apply, then Continue. Your MVR will now reboot. Your system is now open and it will start to search for available cameras on the open network, as long as the IP addresses are all on the same IP range. If for any reason this does not do this straight away, simply access Menu, System Setup, Camera Installation, Camera Add, Delete, then OK and Close. You'll now see the camera or cameras appear with their IP addresses also shown. It will display the camera name and the assigned channel. You can at this stage chop and change where each camera is to be positioned on the screen. When you're finished, click Apply, then Close. You'll now see a live screen of the camera's handshaking and will connect and display the video.